Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Divinity Dragon Commander. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Atoli. And let's meet our new wife. Yeah. You need a new outfit, lady. Yeah, please. What a marvelous chamber this is. Truly made for a princess. Never have I seen steel wrought so delicately. So very different from our wooden elven homes. Yet alike in elegance. As I admire this ship, I can't help but smile as I recall how some at High Court said my staying aboard the Raven would corrupt me. Really? Taint my elven nature. <laughs> what nonsense. But I know Oberon will keep a watchful eye on me nonetheless, to guarantee I don't break with our traditions. Like a hawk he'll be, and I its fledgling. That's... Are you sleeping with Oberon? Maybe. Never mind, my sweet. I'm rambling about silly things, whereas we have a wedding to celebrate. I just know that you and I shall be... Yeah, I mean, to be married, we technically have to do it, right? I guess so, yeah. Alright, cool. So the marriage actually hasn't happened yet. She's just, like, here. So maybe next turn. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's 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 see what we have to deal with. So we dealt with that fleet. Yes. Which, you know, is nice. Yep. This area is completely gone. Yep. So that'll be easy to take. Yeah, so we could actually... So we got a small thing of bomber balloons and M fighters. There is a war factory there. We should keep an eye on that. Yeah. We can also take that one, because there's really nothing there. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to move... Keep in mind that they do have guys... That yeah, can... that's why I'm moving stuff in. Okay. So I'm going to move in this stuff to basically act as holding yep. the area. Yep. So they will do that. Um... Meanwhile, since this fleet held, we're just going to start moving Move our ships. They can clear off of that balloon, and then they can sort of take care of some of these ships that are floating around out in the ether. Yep. Uh, we do have to worry about stuff coming in from that direction, but it should be okay. Or do we just want to send the full fleet into this territory? To support the retake. Um, maybe. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to reset everything. Okay. Uh, you can go over land into there. I think you can do this. If not, you'll destroy the war balloon, so I'm not too worried. Following that, the ironclad moves in. I actually just want to make this strong enough that hopefully it's an auto-resolve. Right. Meanwhile, right here, we're just going to build up a hunter force. Okay. That we will then be able to redistribute later. Good. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to send a couple of warlocks in to claim this. Okay. Are you should be worried about that um, bomber or whatever that a little thing bit. in the sea is? A little bit, but for that, we'll just send a couple of grenadiers. That'll okay. hold that perfectly fine. All right, so what we have left is some units that can move a small distance this away. Do you want to bring any of those guys that are in uh, Ron Tell whatever to or Uh Just so that we don't leave that place empty? Yeah, actually what I'm thinking is I'm going to bring all of these. Well, no, because this won't be empty. It's going to build the hunters. Oh, that's right. The that's hunters right. will act as defense. Okay. Instead, I'm just going to bring these transports over to be available. Okay. So remember, imp fighters can't take a territory. Oh, right, right. Because we tried that. Yes. So we've done that. So now what we need to do is consider what else we're going to build. We may want to build a few water units for the stuff that's coming... Down That's fair. I'll build a few ironclads and some more armors. Okay. Just in this territory. Yeah. So we can keep pushing this way. Um, we already built here. Here. I'm going to build up... Uh, we got a bunch of shaman in the territory. Here, I'm going to build these because these are anti-air. Okay. Um, and a couple of bomber balloons because they're also very good against the naval ships. Okay. Okay, we've burned through most of our surplus of money now. Mm -hmm. So we do need to try and, like, actually hold this territory. Yeah. So we can take this. That's another tavern. Yep. Uh, and then we can eventually push into that war factory. Yeah. 
Okay. I think we're good. I think that's what we're gonna go with. That's him building back his capital. Yep. Okay, there's a bomber balloon moving in. Their defenses are creeping down the continent. Here come their fleets. So much stuff. Yep. Okay, so yeah, so I do have to deal with some stuff in there next turn. Yep. We got two invasions. We got an invasion there I'm not too worried about. Okay, I think we can hold this. Yeah. Ooh. I see your ship. And I raise you the same ship. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, so Scarlet's away. Yeah, Scarlet's away. So she's away. not available. So I'm just gonna let this one auto resolve. Okay, I think that should be fine. One balloon. There goes a hunter. There goes a. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! I think we lost. You think so? Shit. Whoa! What? We had an eighty percent chance. And that's how dice go. So the defensive force has fallen. This one, I also want to have the army deal. Yep. Because. Okay. We held there. I feel like that other one was bullshit. <laughs> Dice, die rolls happen, man. I mean, it's 100%. How do we have 100% and they have 15 I don't know. <laughs> I say we fight it. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. We need to redeem ourselves for our last fight. We do. We do. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, if only our wife hadn't been sacrificed to make him so much stronger. I'm sorry! Someone wants to make this series long. I didn't know it would make him that much stronger. I did. Well, you should have said something. I did. You should have said something more urgently. <sighs> A new medical mystery. The help that these are really small maps. The best way to see Riven on is through the crosshairs of my double barrel. Nature of the beast. Alright, the bombardment begins. God, they have so much health. Yep. We're just gonna hold back back here. Yep. I need more recruits! More recruits! Okay. Yeah, it's going fine. Not too bad. I don't remember how to send them forward. Uh, I don't remember. Me neither. We forget every time. Alright, I'm sending them out. Okay. Your unit will soon be ready. Go ahead and start building a few armors. I think I may have poisoned the area. Whoops. I blew myself up! Apparently. Or did they do that? <laughs> no, I did that. Oh. I mean, they may have suicided, but I don't think so. Oh, well. <laughs> well, they're gone, so I think they might have. Yeah. Or, or maybe you suicided and that I No, no, I launched the nuke. Oh, okay. And I'm thinking the nuke may have hurt me. Oh, okay. It's fine. There. Yay, I think you have this. Good job, guys. Okay, maybe the nuke is not worth uh, bringing. Yeah, not if it kills you. Really, guys, come on. Let's just claim all this. It's over. Yep. All right. All right, that could have gone smoother. Yay, we did 
did it. That could have gone a lot smoother. Corpus. <laughs> That's why I nuked them in myself. Yep. <laughs> okay, at least we didn't lose anything. No. So you have a trouble with the bomber balloon, huh? Do we have any more juggernauts so we can... Uh... Zeppelin. Okay. There we go. Yay, we did yeah. it. No, it just needed an anti-air unit. Yep. Because those are anti-juggernaut. Oh, okay. Bitch. <laughs> All right. Scarlet leaves on secret mission. Sources say she's out for blood. Um, elves are at 100%. Yep. Jesus. So are the imps. Or close. New, new juggernaut. Cool, good. Uh, we have increased our research. We've decreased our gold. Yeah, but not by much. But we received a dowry. Yay. So the elves still gave us money anyways. <laughs> I said earlier I was of the opinion a criminal like Nakasin deserved a much harsher punishment than he got. Eh, whatever. I don't quite mean we should simply chop off his head, Commander. Still, I'm not about to shed a tear for the swine, and I'm so very glad for Scarlet. She must feel validated. Accepted, finally. Your humble servant, Commander. Do you have an opinion? Commander, what madness is it that drove you to unleashing that copy <coughs> of a scarlet? Of a scarlet. Of a scarlet. Of a scarlet. This is unacceptable, and her announcing she is gay is no justification. You know we'd support her, but we can't support extrajudicial assassinations. She's as bad as he was. I mean, not that he was... Oh, to hell with it. Isn't she a beauty, our Lady Lohanna? A pearl Fuck it, you murdered man. one of the Archdukes. And Scarlet's a bitch. But you married but her. But you married our princess. Good job, Commander. What You're very confusing to us elves, but we appreciate it, we think. Carcasses the dwarves call cuisine. It's frankly nauseating. And moreover, absolutely taboo among elves. Maybe you could. Uh, but no. It's not my place to mingle in the affairs of my betters. I can but hope my queen will not be forced to compromise her purity. Wait, what does she eat? Dwarf food. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing, Scarlet? How'd it go? It is over, Commander. I returned triumphantly. I rode to Narcissim's stronghold on horseback, accompanied by several dozen female knights, and there, with your seal in hand, I announced the fiend's head would roll. You could have brought some gay guys, too. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> did, 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 where'd you get those female knights? Yeah. It was bliss. It was vindication. I had an orgasm from it. <laughs> kicking and screaming, but I, calm and collected, told him, I am Scarlet, Dragon's General, and one of the nature you sought to eradicate. Today, I come for you. His head I left on a stake upon the battlements. His body had thrown to the dogs. I'd feel worse about this, but literally every single elf in the kingdom likes me. Yeah. <laughs> Once the news broke, the execution was met with as much applause as it was with indignation. We knew it would divide. Not really. Myself, nope. They love us. <laughs> I am who I am for all the world to see, and thanks to your approval, can look upon friend and foe with pride. With dignity, so very long desired, and so very long out of reach. You are a great man, Commander. I know. And you'll make for a great king. I wish for no more than to stand by your side until the day comes we have vanquished our last enemies. Listen, do you want to be our wife? I'm not saying we gotta sleep together, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, we could just marry you. <laughs> Quite a show, our little Scarlet staged. The little general that could after all, isn't she? About to throw away wasted years of molten men and waste them on wine and women instead. <laughs> Miraculous how things change. Thus passes the glory of the world. <laughs> oh, Edmund. Atta girl, Scarlet's done it. <laughs> Hank's like, yeah. Yeah. I banged that briefly. Surefire way to stop his shenanigans, that. Brave of her, too, to announce she's into women so publicly. But I'll bet you she'll still have a hankering after old Henry <laughs> from time to time. She could bring one of her lady friends along if that makes her feel more at ease. I really don't mind. I really just want a threesome. <laughs> Good for you, Hank. 
or a foursome. We could just have an orgy. A mangy male was brought down by an unwavering woman. See, we clearly did the right thing. Everybody's happy. <laughs> if I could wake to such news each morning new, I'd ask for nothing more. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, like, the elves love us. Yep. Like... Really, the dwarves are the only ones that are pissed at us right now. Yeah, even the undead are like, eh, they're okay. Yep. You know, the imps are close to 100. Yep. So, right, uh... let's go check in on our queen. Oh my god! <laughs> I like the Venus flytraps. Yeah, I, I like the hanging flowers if they don't set off my allergies. Oh dear. I have just received this lovely invitation to attend a dinner party in my honor. The counselors want to welcome me aboard the ship and congratulate me on having become a Dragon Knight's proud wife. It's up to you. This is this is not a military matter. Um why aren't you enthused? It's dwarf food. That's just the thing. It's awfully jolly of them to throw me an impromptu jamboree, were it not that I don't eat meat. Oh. You see, the invitation reads that the dwarf's top chef will prepare all courses. And, as you know, those boy little fellows wouldn't consume a vegetable if it'd make them lay golden eggs. I don't want to insult the council, but I don't think I can attend this dinner. Well, do you say of course that she can? Give the give the dwarves a chance? Or to, uh, lie? Can I just tell them to cook you some veggies? Nope. Can't I just be like, yo, she's a vegetarian dog. Make some vegetables. <laughs> I need some soy tofurkey or something. Yeah, like... It's up to you. I, I don't actually know what her storyline is, but I feel like if we lead her down the realm of sin and meat, it could get funny. I think it could, too. I mean, my darling. <laughs> you should give other foods a chance. Perhaps. It's a moral issue, rather than a practical one among elves. But maybe I should make an exception now that I dwell in mixed company, surrounded as I am by all kinds of outlandish customs. Let me think it over, dearest. You think it over. It's your decision. Eat some meat, lady. It's your Get some meat on those bones. It's your decision. What if she did? She just becomes <laughs> she just voluptuous. <laughs> she right. like gets really muscular, just turns into a bodybuilder. My She's God. like, protein is amazing! <laughs> okay. Let's figure out what's going on here. There's a Murder? ship over there. I mean, what? Okay, there's a large fleet over there, so we probably want to go... Oh, wow, there's a lot of bombers moving in. So what I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. Is we're going Imp Fighter. Okay. Like, we are just building Imp Fighters here. Sounds good. To basically act as our... Uh, what we're going to sweep everything with. Yep. We're then going to move... <sighs> hmm... So we do have a small problem right now. Yeah. Okay, we can take these guys. Oh, they can only move one. Shit. Well, you have a bunch of transports there, don't you? I do, but I need to get anti-air. Oh, right. There we go. Okay. So these M fires will come in. Uh, we'll move these troopers in as well to help with the support. Okay. Because we just need to hold this. Mm -hmm. These ironclads are going to stay put. Okay. Currently. Because I... These bombers will screw them up. Right. So, yes. So we'll stay here and wait. The um the non-passives that the troops can do, yeah. does that help them in like the auto result? Oh, uh, that's a good point. It might. It might. Cuz like that might put them up to 3 stars. I don't know if it's that or if it's like a research thing, but we have so many points. Yeah, why don't we just like do it? And even if we don't end up using it in like when we're when you're playing as the dragon, like it might help them in their auto resolves. That's a very good point. Okay, that's literally every bit of research. Okay, cool. Except for the dragon stuff. Yeah, but I mean that that's fine. Like. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good point. Very good point. Okay. Cause yeah, see, a lot of these guys are now three stars. Ah. See, always thinking, and, you. Yeah, so I think that'll help. 
Yeah, everybody's three stars now. Yep. So we're just like our our normal. That was dudes. our problem. Yeah. Okay. This should be enough. You know it. With the bomber and the imp fighter there? Is yeah. That... Okay. I'm sending a Zeppelin. Okay. Zeppelin's a good anti. Okay. So there, split those two up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some of this anti-air stuff over. Okay. These transports, I am going to just leave here for right now. Okay. Should we unload them? Or they already have been. Oh, they have okay. nothing in them. They have nothing in them. Okay. Bring them over like so. Here's the thing. If we can kill off their fleets, mm -hmm. we just have to worry about the land bridge. Right. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. Okay. Just bring the Devastators over there for the added support. Do we want to build anything? Like... I'm just thinking of this bomber balloon. This bomber balloon can join. Oh, good. Then yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's... So we'll, we'll bring that in as well. Okay. I'll leave the troopers here. Okay, should we build anything on those? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna build stuff. I'm just getting my deployments done first. Okay. Uh, can you go another? Yes, you can. Okay, they're all going go in there. Okay. Um, should I just bring all of them? I'm just gonna bring all of them. Because okay. there's there's no, no way for them to invade over here right now. Right. Like, there's a single ironclad. Right. So I'm not really worried. So what we can do is actually... Another gold mine. Yeah. <laughs> Just to bring that money back up. Yep. And then over here, we're going to continue to build... I'm going to build... Hmm. Air units, you think? Or bombers? Or boats? Um... Or I could just go grenadiers. I would maybe go grenadiers for right for now. For the anti-air. For Yeah. There, we can build eight. Okay, that's all of our money. Because I feel like a lot of these guys will probably survive, which means we can take care of that other ship that's over there I without so. too much problem. Yeah, because the thing is, is once we wipe out these fleets that are coming down, uh -huh. we're going to have them stagnating a lot. Yes. Because then we'll take this war factory, yep. and they'll have no other way to produce other than their capital. Their capital. They have Unless a war they... factory there. like I. And then this island is a concern, but once we take care of the fleets, we can do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's not, there, he's not leaving anything on the island to protect it. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get in there. Yep. Oh, he made that country immune to invasion. Oh, that sucks. So, my guys are going to bounce off. So I think I'll kill everything, but I won't hold it. Okay, well, if everything's dead, though, we can just take it next turn. Like, yeah. that sucks, but... So, because it's 100%, we're just going to let it resolve. Yeah. Yeah, see, we're doing so much better now that they're all three stars. You were absolutely correct. Oh, no, we did hold it. Oh, maybe immunity only... Maybe it's until next turn. Maybe. I think we have it. Yeah. But yes, I think you were absolutely correct about needing to upgrade everything. Yeah. Because, like, I know we don't use it, you know, yeah. in when you're playing and doing the actual, like, battle portion, <laughs> but... I'm really tempted to just... Should I just fight this one? Sure. Uh, let's not risk the units. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we have secured our portion of the continent. Yes. They have that force that's coming in. Yep. Oh, we, we upset the elves. They're no longer 100%. Uh, probably because <coughs> we... The, yeah, the, the, thing meat. With the, the meat. The meat. The meat, yeah. Uh, to do... Destroy a factory. Ooh, that, that we're can using. Do that on the that island. One island. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. Scarlet has gained a level in fearsome. Love it. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and share. I have been the Alchemical Rabbit, and this is Benatoli, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.